So, you have an idea for a business and this is one of the questions that I continue getting asked. How do you actually make product? More importantly, how do you actually start a brand with little to no money? So watch. This duffel bag here represents the ideas of the world. I'm just kidding, it's just a duffel bag with some products in it. But essentially, what it's gonna boil down to is focusing on the products that you wanna make creating a brand around it, and more importantly, selling it through. All right, so for instance, say you have an idea for a crochet bikini bottoms. Perfect idea to start a business around. You're gonna want to figure out what the cost is gonna be, and more importantly, the logistics to actually getting a nice quality yarn, and since this is handmade, how do you keep it consistent? Say you wanted to start a yoga bag line, right? You're gonna figure out how the cut and sew is gonna work, sourcing, dyeing, labeling, cut and sew pants. You want stretchy pants, you want a certain fabric. All of that's gonna require your thought process. Water bottles, same thing. Nice blouses, again, hats. A little bit easier, same concept. Maybe you wanna make some backpacks. A Little bit beefier, so. That is essentially how you come up with product ideas and actually make them. All right, so I'll catch you guys on the next video. No, just kidding. Anyways, no, what I really wanna discuss is what goes into actually making the product, how you can design and use different resources to create your graphic design or even your apparel designs, your tech packs, and all the things that you're gonna to need to go to manufacturing. And then more importantly, how you can start selling and shipping your products as soon as they're sold online. All right, so let's jump into the first part, which is actually making products. Making products and knowing how products are created is going to be crucial to you guys to be able to understand the cut and sew process. Now the cut and sew process is a little bit more complicated than it is say just buying a wholesale blank. Alright so for instance Bella Canvas has some great apparel for anybody that's looking to just buy wholesale garments, relabel and brand as their own. And for example some of the stuff back here are some of the products that they have in their arsenal of offering. This is more of like a hooded sweatshirt. You can find the bomber jackets, a bunch of different sweats and garments that you guys can use to actually produce your brand. So more specifically, you're able to simply take the label, rip it off, simple as that, and then attach your own labels to here, right? So you'll design your label and then you'll stitch it onto here and you'll screen print your design or whatnot and this looks like it's yours. It's your own branded product, right? So there's no other labels on the inside other than the one right there and you guys are good to go and you're good to start selling as your own brand. Now that's the easiest way, but if you'd like to make your own designs and products, what I'm gonna wanna show you guys is a very quick recap right here as in terms of what it takes to actually cut and sew a t-shirt, but it's gonna be the similar process to creating whether you wanna do a sweatshirt or whether you wanna do a duffel bag, everything plays the same role. It's the same process, the same thought process, and the same processes are involved with creating a shirt that it is to creating a bag. The first thing that you're gonna to want to really think about is the pattern and the design that comes into it, all right? So that's the first thing you gotta think about is how, how does this shirt or how does this product look different than it is on the market? From there, you put it into a drawing, from the drawing, you take it over to the CAD program, which actually creates the pattern. And in this CAD program, the whole thing is designed. It's the shapes and the elements and all the math that goes into making sure it's all stitched up and it's not gonna be crooked. It's all created in that CAD design. And the designer involved with it has some knowledge with how those things work. From there, they take it over to the plotter printer. The plotter printer prints out this big sheet of paper, and that big sheet of paper is what's gonna be used to actually cut the design. Once the design is printed on that big piece of paper, they take it over to the, to the sample materials, which is the materials that you're gonna ideally use for your production. It's gonna be something that's gonna be very similar, if not the same thing, and you cut it up. And then right after you cut it up, you'll go stitch it. Once they stitch it up and make sure that everything's aligned, if there's any adjustments based on the sewers, those adjustments will be made. And now you have a finished product. 
And with that finished product, essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure that it, if, it, if it's gonna shrink or if it's gonna fit differently after you're actually wearing it, you'll make those adjustments based on how somebody uses it and somebody looks in it. And then you go back to the process and restart again. So as you can see, it's a very back and forth method from drawing to cutting, to stitching, to fitting, to resizing. And from there you have your entire line. Now when it comes to apparel, you're also gonna have to grade up and grade down. Now when it comes to different products such as bags or anything that's one size fits all type of things, you don't have to necessarily grade patterns unless you're gonna make like small kids versions, then that's a different, uh, then you take a similar approach. But nonetheless, that's how you make products. And essentially what I tell people when they're, when they're wanting to create their own products is that you really want to budget out at least a thousand to four thousand to create your products. I just condensed the entire process into something that's very easy for you guys to understand. Now it's even more important to understand that to start a line, it's even easier to just take a blank garment attach your labels and your branding and start creating the marketing message around your brand. Now, if you're a graphic artist watching this video, you, you've already designed all kinds of stuff and you have such genius ideas that I know a lot of people do. And a lot of people watching that I speak to, you guys are amazing with your artwork and you just have to believe in it. All right, that's, that's the biggest thing that I see from a lot of artists is that they don't believe in themselves. So if you're a graphic artist wanting to start a clothing line, actually go through the production process go through the sales process and you'll be on the right foot. If you're not sure where to find graphic artists, there are some great resources such as Design Crowd and Fiverr and Upwork and all kinds of other ones where you can connect to hundreds of thousands of freelance designers across the entire world. All right, so this is a challenge that I always bring out to everybody that I meet with is start working on actually building this line in your brand. All right, because that's the only way that you guys are gonna learn Obviously, you're going to want to make sure that you're not spending thousands of dollars in order to create designs. You're going to want to take the minimum viable product approach, which is what I just discussed right now, making sure that if you could use a wholesale blank, using a wholesale blank to build your brand, your marketing, your website, what the vision and mission is, and then moving into creating different collections with minimal investment in each product, getting some pre-sales and pre-orders, and from there, you can start building along, investing in the right places where you know it's going to pay off. One of the fastest ways to figure out where you fit in the market is to attend events that are filled with your demographic. So say for instance, you wanna start a t-shirt brand that sells directly to the sneakerheads, right? Because maybe you're a sneakerhead and you love it and you can think that you can make some money in actually selling designs that are interesting to the people that collect sneakers. But the fastest way to figure out if your designs are actually gonna match that market is to attend an event. Events are gonna be one of the biggest tell-alls of who's actually gonna adapt your product. What it's gonna do for you is enormous. It's gonna create a better understanding of that market. And then you'll be able to use that to, in order to create that same message on your website, on your social media, and everything else. You'll know what people are looking for, what messages resonate with them, and you'll be able to build your online marketing campaign around all the information that you learned in a real life event, all right? And more importantly, you get to network with people, influencers that are there, people that you're gonna wanna meet that are gonna help promote the brand online are all gonna be at the events that you're attending. All right, so now the last and final tip in this video, and I wanna say one of the most important, is in figuring out the delivery method of your brand and products. All right, so essentially is, how are you gonna get the product that you created to the person that ordered it online or the person that bought it at the event? All right, so this is gonna be important for you to figure out before you launch the brand. Um, if you're selling bags or, or other weirdly shaped different um, products, one of the things that you're gonna run into is the cost of shipping. It's not gonna be as cheap as folding up a shirt into a very nice size and shipping it for a flat rate through USPS. Different bags such as this are a little bit bulkier. You might have to fold it a little bit and put it into a bigger poly bag type of material. That's a cent That's a lot of the times that's the cheapest method um, because you don't want customers having to pay 30 bucks for shipping, right? So you always wanna look into how are you going to package up your product in order for it to be shipped easily and least expensively. That way you could even offer free shipping on some products because you know that you're paying a very, whether it's two or three bucks or five bucks, you're willing to eat the cost because it's something that's more expensive. It's all the decision that you're gonna have to make 
but it's going to be a crucial one that you need to start looking into as you're actually wrapping up the manufacturing portion of your of your process or creating the products before you attend those events you're going to want to think about how everything is going to be shipped all right so more importantly don't overthink it too much don't try to like create the best packaging i mean you could you could create the best packaging for like shipping like really cool boxes those are all things that are really going to come in handy and are going to kind of elevate your brand and it's things that you definitely should consider but to start off make sure that you just get the product there safely all right make sure that your process of actually shipping products is sound and it's not going to be losing products in the process or you're not going to get ripped off by people that are using scam accounts all right so essentially what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that you find a good payment provider and that you hook it up to like stamps.com if you're selling online and more importantly is finding a fulfillment center if you don't have the time to ship things out yourself all right and fulfillment centers are essentially areas that allow you to stock your product and they ship it out for you and they they actually have a team of people that go in pull the product from their shelf put a label on it ship it to the customer they also handle returns for fulfillment centers just look up online just literally go to a google search it's very easy if you find one that's in your area that's definitely the best way to take it that way you know hey if i ever need to go down there do an inspection or hey if i ever want to just add more inventory i can communicate with the owners a lot better all right so essentially these four things that we discussed today which was in actually making products designing products selling at those events and then fulfilling those orders are gonna be the four things that you guys really need to consider when you're starting your brand. And I don't think enough people really discuss that. So I wanna make sure if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you share it with a friend, family member, somebody in your community that will benefit from this information. As you guys know, I have a whole channel full of different content. So I'll continue to make more content as long as you guys continue requesting it and continue needing answers to it. Be on the lookout for new types of videos as well, as well as the newest playlist on my channel, which is going to be linked right here. And make sure you head on over to the johnxsantos.com website, which is going to be linked right down below as well, where I have free downloads, guides, PDFs, newsletters, and giveaways, offers, and invite to events that are coming up. So if you guys ever want to connect, join that newsletter. It's the best way for you guys to get in the know where I'm going to be, what events I'm inviting you guys out to, and what opportunities are out in the market. I send it out there first, and I appreciate every single one of you guys that are on that list. And more importantly, as a signal of your gratitude, I always just ask that you use the links in my description for any of the resources I discuss throughout my entire channel. It helps fund a little bit of the production cost that goes into creating the videos and, and all the stuff that I need in order to help you guys get the content that you need, which is all free. All right, so I appreciate it. Thank you guys for everything. If I don't see you at a next event, I'll see you on the next video. Talk soon, bye.